All right, guys. So going out on Chesapeake Bay today. Going to try to do some flounder fishing. Got some minnows, maybe some trout. Might even try to throw out some clams. We got some for spades just in case we see a few swimming around the boat. But um, we got Megan over here. She's sorting through the minnows now, throwing back some small ones. But we caught quite a few this morning. Um, I'm going to hook them up, live rigs, drop them down, and uh, see what we can do. But get back with you in a few. Great ships right here. Try to drop down flounders. It's like 20 feet right here, 20 feet. Drops up to 13, rises up to 13, 17, some areas. And it drops to 30 again. So set of concrete ships back there and a set right here, right off of Kipto Peak State Park. And then I guess they put these ships out here to protect the beach a long time ago, but I'm gonna drop down and see if there's any fish hanging out on them. Ain't moving nowhere. Flounder one. Yep. Had to toss out some minnows right here on the ship. Just let it drift on down with a lightweight. And then uh, let's put him on the scale and see where he's at. Let's see. So you got a 17, 17 so he's legal. Mm -hmm. Legal by an inch. Hit that live minnow. It's like we were talking about in our last video. If you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. So when there's live minnows on there. And uh, I just threw it over by the ship. Put it in the rod order and saw the rod go down. So not really doing a whole lot. Just throwing them out there and letting them kind of swim around. Yeah, so you got all these, a ton of old ships out here. Just blocking this beach from getting destroyed. It's a state park. I guess it's a pretty inexpensive way of getting rid of the ships and saving the beach. But uh, yeah, you can see we got the anchor right here. We're just pulling up, dropping it, letting enough rope out. We can get real close and then kind of throwing those minnows around the bottom. You want to get them real close to the edge. Sometimes you can drag them back to the boat, hook up one one or let them sit there, kind of do a little boat. But see, it's a ton of birds in here. As far as you can see, pelicans. Pelicans, seagulls. Pretty sweet to see. I think in here somewhere, we're probably going to throw the anchor, cast up in the shade around some of these bigger ships. Um, all right, so see how close we are. You don't have to really get this close if you're pretty good at casting, but we want to try to get parallel with these ships as close as you can. So, anchor's actually slack right now, so we might drift a little closer. Alright, got a walker hooked up in front of the ship. Get the net just in case. I hope it's a, I hope it's a flounder because if it is, it's a nice one. It feels like a flounder. Yeah. I hope it's not a damn toad. He was a sleeper for sure. A little throwback, yeah. A little throwback flounder, but still hooked up right here in front of the ship. Tied those minnows. It's a ledge right there. Just drop them right down and work them back to the boat. So he's probably out of what, 14, maybe 12. Well. Yep. Got Megan hooked up. It's got another flounder right here. 16 and a half. Let's see what this is real quick. That one's going in the cooler. Looks like something pretty good here. Pulling right good. If this is flounder, it's gonna be big. I had a guess. Pretty looking summer flounder there. Mm -hmm. Don't get much better than that. You want to measure? Yeah. Uh, I know he's 16. But he's there. Hi, 
Right. So you got uh you got 17. 17. All right, concrete ships. We got something on here. If it was right here at the point of the ship. That's a crazy one. Where's that hope? All right. Got one more flounder. Where's that flounder number five? It's He's 16. right at 16. Yeah, we're 16. Right at the 16 mark. So, yeah, he's a keeper. I do my tape and I'm going to get break it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people out here fishing these ships, but I haven't seen many people doing nothing. This is our number five flounder. All right, Walter, something big right here. We ain't got you. Megan, well, something. Got Megan's got hooked up. I've got not a flounder. I got a trout. She got a trout. We'll get him in a minute. Megan. Oh. All right, Walter saying he's got something here too. Yeah. We'll see if I can get it in the net. Oh yeah, trout. Nice trout. Really nice trout. Dang. It's a freaking nice gray trout. See, school mine. must have came through. Look at mine. You got a little baby. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a nice trout. Right there. Oh yeah, 17 incher. Watch out, make noise. <laughs> yep, she's nice just trout. doing a rawhide. Uh, I'm throwing this one back. Throwing yeah, one back. yeah, that one's a small thrown back. Yeah, that one's gotta be back. This one's keeper. Big old gray trout. Let's see how much he measures that. It is. So he's 15. Yeah, probably a little. 15. Yeah, 15, right 15, at 15. 15 mm -hmm. Pretty nice gray trout, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Come in here with all the flounders. All right. Megan trout? hooked up. No. Oh, yep. yeah, that's a trout. Sling them in. That looks. Yeah, nice gray trout. It's hot. There's a flounder, it's big. It is a flounder. Nice one. Flies in the bale. Damn, that's a pretty good 7 18, maybe. Damn, you barely had him. Barely had him. Well, that's what's happening. A lot of times you get hits. Yeah. Been good. All right, guys, just got back in. We uh, did pretty good. Fish the ships. You got to work around those ships the whole time. We're casting. They actually did a little better than we thought they were going to do, but I'm going to show you our end result here. That's one, two, Three, four, five, and then two nice trout. So we did uh, did pretty good. Just casting all around the boat and just jigging minnows. So ships did pretty pretty good. <laughs>